Corneria, fourth planet of the Lilat system. The evil Andros turned this once thriving system into a wasteland of near extinction. General Pepper of the Cornerian army was successful in exiling this maniacal scientist to the barren, deserted planet, Venom. Five years later, General Pepper noticed strange activity coming from Venom. James McLeod, Pigma Dangar, and Peppy Hare of the Star Fox team were sent to investigate. Upon their arrival, Pigma betrayed the team, and James and Peppy were captured by Andros. Peppy barely escaped Venom and returned home to tell James' son, Fox, about his father's fate. A few years have passed. Andros has again invaded the Lilat system. General Pepper has turned to a new Star Fox team headed by Fox McCloud to save Corneria and free the Lilat system once again. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to release the other series which I actually have an announcement about. So I ended up changing the format. Originally it was going to be hidden game series, it was going to be games that I thought was really good but weren't really popular. Um, the problem with that was I didn't really have much content on it. I could only really think of two videos and nothing else was coming to me. I was hoping that something would but nothing did. So until I could think of more content I could release, I'm putting that on hold. So I needed a new series because I don't want to just do the channel series because I have to rely on friends to do that. I can't guarantee a video every week that way. These videos I could do on my own, so I could release at least one video a week. So the new series I'm coming out with is the Retro series. I'm going to be doing classic games like Star Fox 64 to start off, um, go further down like PS1, PS2, uh, maybe even like very early PS3 games. But for now, I'm just going to stick with N64. I'm doing Star Fox in this video. The next game is also an N64 game, which I'm not going to release until maybe next week or the week after, depending on when I do the next Challenge Series video and how quick I can get it up. Let's talk a little about the map. There are actually multiple routes you can take based on how you complete each level. So you have to play the game multiple times to play every area. For now, I'm just going to take the standard route. As much as I love this game, I could really do without Slippy. I mean, did Nintendo think it was a great idea to add a character that was completely useless? In fact, pretty much your entire party is useless, but at least Falco is cool, and Peppy keeps repairing your funnel. Slippy's just... she analyzes, I mean... What, what kind of great skill is that? Wow, Slippy, that's great. You can really analyze this for me. Oh, wow, boss, Slippy, quick, analyze, now. Before you die. Do a barrel roll. Honestly, after all these years of hearing everyone say do a barrel roll, it's actually refreshing hearing it from Peppy. Now can everyone please stop using do a barrel roll? The boss fights are really cool even though they're all really easy, and each map feels different from the next. I actually vividly remember all these maps from when I was younger, really shows how much different they are from one another. No. I think this is to be said because a lot of my friends and people I know really like the tank mission, but I'm really not that big of a fan of it. I just like flying around all the time, like there's really no need for this mission I feel like. Uh, you guys might disagree with me, but flying around is the best thing in this game. I mean, it's the whole premises of this game, so it's obviously a big part of the game, but a lot of people like the tank mission, and it's just not that good. We're entering Corneria City now. Horrible. What's horrible is that no one on this team knows how to shoot a goddamn enemy! Things are starting to heat up! Yeah, quick thinking around. It's not like you guys are useful or anything. You know, this mission, it's really something. It's kind of like the first other space game I remember besides Asteroids. And you actually feel like you're in space, so it's actually really cool. Watch out, 
it's really funny that I always need to help them, but as soon as I need help, they just- Oh, watch out, Fox. They don't even try to even attempt to help me. I'd also like to point out that I guess had I not helped him in the first mission, he would have not even helped me at all. So, I mean, I shouldn't be thankful at all. On top of that, that move is actually really easy to avoid if all you do is lock on, so... He didn't really do much. Two reasons why I really like this mission. One, you get that you could fly around wherever you want feeling, because you pretty much could. You know, I mean, it's a small area, but it's still really cool. Two is you get your nemesis, like wolf, pig guy, uh, the lizard, and uh, the, the monkey. That's Andros's nephew, I think. Either way, it's pretty cool. Wow, what a surprise. Once again, everyone needs help. I mean, this game is amazing, but you would think that at some point they would be more useful and they would actually help you instead of the entire game. All I do is, oh, we need help, we need help, we need help. That's all their point is, is that they need help and you need them alive to progress in different routes. It's so annoying. <laughs> Before the great wait, Andrew. wait, this guy's name is Andrew. His two ponos, one is, one is named Wolf, which makes sense, because he's a wolf. The other one is named Pigma, you know, because Pig is the name of Ma, Pigma. And this guy's name is Andrew. It's a, just a plain name. Did, did they just, oh, let's not think of a creative name for this guy. He's just going to be annoying anyway. We're just going to throw him in, like, in you know, one map. Honestly, his name is Andrew. Like, he has no special name. Coming from a game where like everyone's name is somewhat relevant to the animal that they own, and this guy's name is Andrew. Dude, there had to be like a developer named Andrew that made this character, and they're like, yeah, well, you made him, so we'll just name him Andrew. I'm not a what the heck? I'd also like to point out that Wolf is also amazed of this somersault, as if it's a really big deal. But really, it, it's not. I mean, everyone, you literally, you're in space. It should be pretty easy to do a somersault. I feel like it's really a nod to the developers that were able to make a, a game, a flying game, where you could do a somersault. But, like, it was kind of stupid to have Wolverine. What? <laughs> like, as if, oh my god, no, that's impossible to do. I mean, I'd probably, like, I could probably do a somersault if I was... I was in space. No crap. All their crap. I I'd just like to uh, point out. See, I'm not. I'm not bad. I know how to do the different paths. I'm only doing the standard path, just to kind of. I figured it would just be the easiest thing to do for people that haven't played this game. And there's a first time seeing it, I think, you know, Reports you'd want to see the, the standard route. On and some then I weapon. could do the other paths, I just I'll not check bad it out. at games. You know, I, I really don't have anything to say about this mission. Um, I mean, there's a lot going on, though. A lot of junk moving around. I just, I really don't have much to say about this mission. <laughs> Stay tuned and watch Slippy die for one. Well, she doesn't die, but no. Stay tuned to watch Slippy. Be stupid. Let me handle this. There we go. That's the money shop. Goodbye, Slippy. I mean, thank God we don't have to get her, right? I mean, she's out of the game now, right? Right? I must be. So, out of visiting an out of reach planet to save a frog. Uh, you are then tasked with destroying the Death Star, naturally, before you get to the final stage. And here we are. The final stage. The last map. The end point for the three maps. Though, if memory solves me right, I'm not positive. I think the endings are different depending on the route you go through. If I'm wrong, please send some hate comments. But I'm pretty sure the endings are different depending on the route you take. Time to show the monkeys who's 
The key of this mission is to have your entire party alive for this mission. It makes the mission a lot easier, and you always have someone depending on the back path you take. Not that each path doesn't really make a difference, but it does help a lot. Yeah, he's running away. He's afraid of this. I mean, I'm only one wing down, and I can still take him on. All he does is jump and make columns. I mean, that's not really that much of a power. In fact, without this room, this guy is pretty useless when you really think about it. Ah, for the final fight. The key here was just to destroy the hand, so all he could do is the stupid suck thing where he tries to eat you, and all you gotta do is throw a missile in, in his mouth, and then he dies. And we win, and yay, we saved the universe for the galaxy system. Hey guys, did you like the video? If you did, please like and subscribe. There are more videos coming. I'm trying to upload once a week. It looks more like I'm uploading twice a week, but I don't want to make any promises I can't keep. So stay tuned for next week. And please, again, like and subscribe. Comment, even if it's hate comment. I would love to talk to you guys. I really do want to get your opinion on how it's going and if you have any recommendations of any games you'd like me to try or any ideas that I could improve I'd really like to know well have a good day and uh you know drive that light